a macrocosm of what goes on every day. Offset has been cheating. Hey, Aki, my nigga, Aki, Aki. My nigga, go get in the fucking bed, dog. All that motherfucker snoring, dog. It ain't till nigga turn the camera on you on goddamn shine in this bitch, dog. Get the fuck in the goddamn. Make me get up, nigga. My fault. Offset ain't never struck me to be no faithful type nigga, my nigga. And, and as a matter of fact, all through their relationship, that's the only motherfucking headline you've heard. Big Facts Podcast. I am L. Conseco, fearless leader of AL Nation. It is cold as fuck on this window. Ooh, need that shit sometime though. Um, fearless leader of AL Nation, and this is. Are you serious? As in, Cardi B. And Offset. Are you fucking serious? Um. Another hip hop relationship dash to the rocks. Um, this this shit to me, like with all this goddamn Carter B talking about, you know, uh, doing a song when she performs a song, she she flipping the nigga off and shit like that every time she said his name and shit like that and all this good shit, whatever like that. A nigga gotta look at that shit like disrespect. Um, she didn't, but she didn't come to the nigga in a time of need. Like, she didn't come to the nigga when she was, you know what I'm saying, fucked up and he just built her up and shit like that. It seemed like they were really on some re retarded, retarded version of Beyonce and, and fucking Jay-Z on some shit, whatever like that. Like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it, and it did help both of them, you know what I'm saying, coming together on some shit, whatever. But it's just the, the, the breakup. And... Me myself, man, I'm a I'm a very big proponent for that goddamn keep the same energy. And I mean that in a real way, not this fuck shit that's going around the internet. I'm talking about in a real way, like keep the same energy that you had when we wasn't married and you didn't have my fucking child. Yeah, we doing that. See I keep trying to explain to you niggas that you do not know the bitch that's sitting next to you or that's at the house right now. You know what I'm saying? That's calling your phone right now. You don't know this bitch. You won't know the bitch until you put a child in her. Oh. I almost didn't see you standing there. Come on in. It's cold out. Hey, have you heard? For the whole month of December, AO Nation is having a blowout sale. Get any hat and shirt combination for $30. That means snapback, scullies, big facts, are you serious? My favorite, $30. Also, for the whole month of December, when you go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10, you'll get an email back letting you know that Christmas doesn't exist. <laughs> Be sure when you hit the PayPal to donate, you go to paypal.me forward slash Aaron337 if you want your donation read on the show. Remember, the AO Nation donation conversation is every other Sunday. Don't be late. I'm serious. Also, don't forget, get your shit together, big homes. All right, get the fuck out. Until this hoe actually has your child inside of her to where there is no leave, 
ain't no just get up and go. I can I can say, you know what I'm saying, you will know the bitch once y'all start living together. You will know the bitch once you get married to her and shit like that. But you really don't know this hoe like you're going to know this hoe when that baby get there. That marriage shit, you can get through that shit and it can pay you a little something because after... After about, what is that, like a year, like, in order to get alimony, you got to be together for like 10 years and shit like that. So you're not obligated to no motherfucking benefits, you know what I'm saying, after a couple of years. So a hoe not going to be able to keep in who she is for no goddamn seven, eight years. Like, the hoe going to be out of there before you get to that point, whatever like that. Some niggas will say different, whatever like that, but them niggas is... is extra lane. Usually that shit happens to, you know what I'm saying, on white motherfuckers that, you know what I'm saying, old police officers and, and fire chiefs and shit like that. They were married 10 years and now they on their third wife and shit like that. You know what I mean? But as far as like us niggas and shit like that, it's not going to take that long for you to see what's going on and she's not going to be able to keep her cover that long. You understand? But understand this, the instant that she conceives and that, that egg takes that sperm and shit like that, my nigga, it's super saiyan. It's kind of like, it's the equivalent of a nigga getting a chick. You know what I'm saying? It's the equivalent of a nigga hitting a lottery, of a nigga goddamn hitting a lick for 50 bands, a nigga goddamn, you know what I'm saying, just anything just really coming up, you know what I'm saying, and being on, that's the type of, attitude you gonna see in a bitch once she gets pregnant. Once a nigga hit a lick, nigga hit the lottery, or nigga come into some money, that nigga really gonna be himself on some shit. I don't, I'm unapologetically me at all fucking times. If a nigga, if he a dirty nigga, he not gonna take no bath. He not gonna brush his teeth. He gonna come outside musty and shit like that because that's who he wants to be. That's truly who he is. And he understands that the people around him ain't gonna say shit. Because you can X them the fuck out. And that's why you have all these issues with these fuck niggas. These rappers that, that get money. And you as a nigga who was around that nigga. From maybe the beginning. You got pushed to the fucking side. You didn't see that coming. Because you didn't know who that nigga was. You know who that nigga. You, you, you seen his broke self. His broken self is, is nothing like. Him when he's whole. When you have money, you are, you are made whole. So now you are truly who it is that you were made to be. If you were made to be a, a fucked up ass nigga and shit like that, then you're going to be that. If you was made to be a missionary and go over here and feed the children and find all the places that you can try to help the community, you're going to be that once you get that money. But before you get that money, you just another motherfucking sheep moving down the road trying to get the food like everybody else. Nobody knows who anybody is until they get to that point. But with a bitch. But with a bitch. At that very fucking instant that she gets a nigga that can't leave her, she's made whole. That's when she'll come out the house with her hair looking any kind of way. That's when she'll come out the house with a musty arm and not give a fuck about what the, the people on the train think. I got me a nigga at home. I don't give a fuck about what you want. You know what I'm saying? Even if the nigga ain't at home, I got a nigga who can't leave me. And that's and see and that's and that's what I'm trying to implant in niggas' minds. And that's that's my issue with this whole situation because it's a microcosm on a big scale. It's kind of it's, it's a, a macrocosm of what goes on every day. Offset has been cheating. Hey, Aki, my nigga. Aki. Aki. My nigga. Go get in the fucking bed, dog. All that motherfucker snoring, dog. It ain't till nigga turn the camera on you on goddamn shine in this bitch, dog. Get the fuck in the goddamn. Make me get up, nigga. My fault. Offset ain't never struck me to be no faithful type nigga, my nigga. And, and as a matter of fact, all through their relationship, that's the only motherfucking headline you've heard. Other than uh, getting her pregnant and, and maybe the... I don't, I don't even think them being married was a fucking headline because I ain't know they was goddamn married. 
The only thing you heard through that shit was this bitch and that bitch. This bitch and that bitch. I'm going to tell you about something else, too, that I think going on. But all you heard was this bitch and that bitch. So, you telling me that she reached her limit all of a sudden? You, uh, this the last chance. This the last chance. This the last chance. This ain't no green hoe. This hoe been fucking with street niggas. Since when are you too good to be cheated on? Let me go there. Let me go, I'm going to go right there. Since when are you too good to be cheated on? These hoes will tell you bitches. I can't really say that because I'm, I'm going to be contradicting myself. But I'm saying though, real talk. If you choose a nigga in this lane, if you choose this nigga, since when are you too good to be cheated on? Ain't that the nigga you want that all the hoes want? You didn't choose a nigga that all the hoes were like, no, nah, I'm good on that nigga. You chose a nigga that was at the, 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 the having the time of his fucking life. It ain't a bitch around that a nigga can't have, but that's the nigga you want. Yeah, I got this. I'm locking this down and not taking in, into, um, in, you didn't take into mind the job of locking that down. You were actually going to have to beat hoes off with a stick. It's going to come with that. If you've ever fucked with a nigga of any consequence, it ain't no, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm just that bad of a bitch that I ain't got to worry about my nigga cheating. If he's that nigga, he's going to have to be on point at all times. Temptation is going to come 24 fucking 7. So a nigga might fall weak, but that's a motherfucking byproduct, and that is a side effect of the thing that you ordered. A nigga that's on top of the game. You didn't want a nigga that nobody wanted, a nobody ass nigga. You wanted the nigga that everybody wanted. So what the fuck do you expect? So that make me think, you going into this shit thinking that you're going to use this cheating shit as an excuse to rob a nigga. That's why I'm at with it. That's why I'm at with it. You go along with all the goddamn good shit, even let that nigga marry you on some shit to make it e make it look even worse. But you never, you this was never a love, love relationship. This was a goddamn business move. If you want me to be motherfucking honest, I want to know goddamn what happened to that nigga that she was fucking with before she got her goddamn teeth fixed. What happened to that nigga? The nigga that she, when she was making them fucked up ass sucking dick videos and shit like that? What happened to the nigga that she was talking about that was in jail? The nigga that was locked up and shit like that. That's how she came up. Talking about stinking pussy and sucking dick and all that good shit on Instagram. With the fucked up teeth, the Puerto Rican with the wig and shit like that. That was Cardi B. Then she got on loving, uh, uh, loving hip hop. And then she come with the rapping shit. But what happened to the nigga that, that, that was locked up? If you ask me, dog. Because that nigga got out. He got out. At some at some point in time, and she was already on her rise though. So it was like you didn't really hear too much about that shit. Like what actually happened with that shit. I think that nigga got in the motherfucking ear. Like let's have a fucking anchor baby. Now I don't know motherfucking anchor us to United States, but anchor us in wealth. Anchor us in um, riches. With this child, we no longer have to worry about where our next meal is coming from. We, and I really believe, dog, me, myself, when you really come from this bottom and you really had to eat noodles and beans out of can, I don't think that that mindset ever leaves you. So when you see a chance to have forever money, a forever check, I'm not sure how easy that is to pass up. Offset, a child from offset right now is going for how much, Bob? Twenty thousand a month. What's what, what's what's an offset child worth right now? Matt Barnes was paying how much a goddamn month? He got he got to go to the courts and plead with his whole life. Please, judge, please, if you can just take my 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 my, my take my payments down to maybe just fifty thousand a month. Please, judge. I throw myself on the mercy of the court. Please, fifty thousand. Please, I can't even eat out here. I'm I'm I'm, I'm throwing up my hands to the court. Niggas is out here every day, and, and it may not be a big deal to you. You understand? It may not be a big deal to you. And this may sound like crazy talk, but you don't know crazy talk until you've been in front of a lady in a courtroom 
and she has all the power in the fucking world and she tells you that it makes more sense for you to go to jail and lose your job when the whole point of you being in this courtroom is to pay for a child. But it makes more sense for you to go to jail and lose everything you built so you can understand that this is a serious place. It's niggas in child support that are getting raped, raped, and raped, and nobody stands up. And the shit that's being said in that courtroom is truly retarded. It's true insanity. If you've never been to a child support hearing where, you know, usually a female judge castrates a man publicly in front of everybody, you should really go to it. If you want to see true insanity, go to one of them motherfuckers. And see how we are thrown on the chopping block by our own kind. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll understand this ravenous rage that I have. And why I can think about and I can be paranoid about all the different ways that you can destroy a man's life. Or, or at least dissipate his success. DMX, Scarface... Nas, and the list goes on of niggas who have actually been arrested for not paying child support. That child, and you know what's worse than all this shit, whatever like that? Cardi B knows it. And every one of you nothing ass bitches know it. That when she got pregnant with that child, she was good. At that very fucking moment, she was straight. Sierra, she was straight. I don't like the fact that all a bitch has to do is get fucking pregnant and she's set for life. No longer does she have to be with the sheeple that are running around trying to find food. Oh, she can just sit back and collect. Black China is one of the best that did it. One of the best that did it. But her thing was finding ducks. And in a way, I guess that's what it is. Any bitch that can come in and make you believe that she won't dig in your fucking pockets and throw you to the fucking wolves. Any bitch that can get on side of you and say, I'm for you. I, I, ain't, I ain't no snitch. I'm a, ride, I'm a ride or die. And that same bitch go right up to that fucking courthouse and write on a piece of paper and from that point on, she no longer has to worry about money. But from that moment forth, you will never have a sleeping fucking eye without making sure that that bitch is paid. You gonna make sure that that hoe live comfortably. She can go to court and say that, um, look at this. She can go to court and say now that because of your success, the child needs to go to private school. Because of your success, the child needs one, two, three. And that judge, I believe they make sure that those fucking judges are not only feminists, but they make sure that the child support judges hate fucking men. Hate them with a passion. So when you go up there to plead your fucking case, ain't no fucking case. What case? 30 days, 90 days, 6 months for a bill that you did not sign for. What you signed up for was sex. And that bitch said, you're a parent now. So now every month you have a bill to pay. If you don't pay that bill, you go to jail. But that bitch can take out every loan in the land and owe every nigga from rent center to goddamn Riviera Utilities. Not one time, if she doesn't pay a bill, will she ever be threatened with jail. But my nigga, if you miss a fucking payment, all, everything that you've been building, you've been building for a year and a half, and something just took place, you got sick, whatever the fuck it was, them motherfuckers will handcuff your dumb ass to that goddamn hospital bed. That's not funny. It's not a joke. It's not a game. 
I'm asking you niggas. The reason why I ask you to follow the three S's because each one goes into the next. Sobriety has to do with the solitude. And the solitude is intimately intertwined with celibacy. And then it goes back around. If you're sober, then you'll be thinking of this before you fuck a bitch. And then you'll, you won't be so apt to fucking the whole raw. And then you won't be, oh, okay. Then you, you won't be like me fussing and fighting about some shit. You'll be the nigga that said, yeah, I'm glad that wasn't me. I'm glad that wasn't me. Because as you motherfuckers are reading about motherfuckers having to pay these insane amounts in child support court, you're just reading about it. It seems unreal, but that's a real fucking person. That's a real fucking person. And it's millions of other niggas that are in jail right now who didn't have the money. And it was way far less than 50000 a month. But my nigga, I ask you, if a motherfucker told you that every month they're going to take $600 away from you, how would you be living? It's that, but it's that $600 a month or go to jail. And that decision... Of paying that wasn't even one that you made consciously. It was a byproduct of something else. So it's kind of like you going to the store and buying some milk. And all of a sudden they, they, they put a cow on top of your car. And if you don't take the cow home with you, they charge you with fucking animal cruelty. It's the same shit. I bought milk. No, I, I didn't want some milk. I didn't want some. No, I didn't want the whole I want I wanted the milk. But you told the bitch you wanted the milk. All I got is enough for... I got I got $4 for, for milk. Obviously, I can't afford that fucking cow. I'm paying with change. Somebody, please. But nobody comes. Nobody comes. Cardi B is just another bitch. Uh, she'll get paid well. Her and her old boyfriend will go back to Puerto Rico and live their life eating fucking uh, plantains and doing the salsa and shit. And Offset would just be another nigga paying child support. And he'll he'll fade away into oblivion doing old shows of fucking his old songs, Versace and shit like that. And nobody would give a fuck. It's another part of the rap trap. This is a Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. Make sure you hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute.